Now, since Samsung devices do not have a fast boot mode support, we're going to need to boot the device into download mode so that the Samsung device can interface with a third or a, a Windows PC piece of software called Odin. And you, you'll use that to return the device back to stock factory software. So in this case, it would be the Samsung Experience software. But you can also use that to flash modify versions of the Samsung factory software. So today I'm going to show you how to begin that process by booting the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus into download mode. So to start this process we're going to need to power off the device. We're going to wait till the device is completely powered off and then we're going to be pressing and holding three buttons. We're going to press and hold the power, the Bixby button, and the volume down buttons at the same time. And we want to continue holding those three buttons until this screen pops up. This is giving you a warning about some custom OS. Again, because you can flash modified versions of the Samsung firmware. And from here we have two different options. We can press the volume down button to cancel, which will restart the phone, or we can press the volume up button to continue. When we press the volume up button to continue, we're going to see the screen dim. We're going to get this notice that it is downloading and that we should not turn off the device. Actually, as of right now, the phone is not downloading anything and it is safe to turn off the device. This warning is for after you hook up a USB cable and you start flashing a, a firmware file to the Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S9 Plus with Odin. If you are in the middle of flashing something then you definitely don't want to turn the device off and you want to let that complete. But as it is right now with nothing plugged in and just showing you this screen, it is completely safe to turn off at any time. So if you have accidentally booted into this mode, we're also given instructions on how to restart the device. So if you do not currently plan to flash something with Odin, or maybe you got an error in Odin to where the Odin didn't recognize this device and you need to install proper USB files. We're just going to press and hold the volume down key and the power button for more than seven seconds and then that's going to restart the device. This is going to turn it off. It's going to take us through the typical boot animation sequence and it's going to boot us right back into Android. So the download mode on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus is just one of those features that you may or may not even need if you have no intention of ever installing a modified version of Samsung's firmware or even switching the carrier firmware. Maybe you bought from one character and you want to install the factory software from another character, also known as carrier switching, then you'll need to know about download mode. But for those who have no intention of ever modifying the software on the device, it's good to know that download mode is there just in case you accidentally booted into it, which can be pretty hard, but some cases make it easier to do that accidentally. So if that's the case, now you know how to boot into download mode on the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus, as well as how to boot out of download mode, just in case you did it by accident.